More than 60 mostly anti-vaccine speakers gave public comment ahead of the supervisor's vote to continue requiring vaccine mandates for county employees. And as has become increasingly common, many of the comments took an accusatory tone against the supervisors. Today, I present my version of a theatrical performance since we have to watch you guys in your theatrics week after week. Jason Robo, ladies, gentlemen, traders. But things quickly turned ugly when Jason Robo, an aspiring comedian who claims to have gone to high school in San Diego, threatens several of the supervisors. He also called County Public Health Officer Dr. Wilma Wooten a racist slur by referring to her as Aunt Jemima. Dr. Wooten is a black woman. Supervisor Nora Vargas immediately put a stop to it. You are not allowed to say that to her. You are not oh, allowed well, to say that say to her. I can't say that you're a fat you piece of sh- that you oh, want, well, you the first time they responded. To say that. Oh, no. no I'm they sorry. actually responded. Let's have a dialogue. The chair is not here. I'm going to ask you to apologize to her. No. You are not- Aunt Jemima was the Quaker logo based on the racist stereotype of the so-called Mammy figure, an enslaved black woman who takes care of white families. Quakers stopped using the name and logo last year amidst the country's racial reckoning. Ahead of the vote, Chair Nathan Fletcher removed someone from the chamber for continuing to interrupt other speakers and admonish the crowd's behavior. The First Amendment affords people the right to come down and say anything that they want to say, even if it's untrue, even if it's vulgar, even if it's profane. But so much of, of, of what these meetings have devolved into is this type of sport or game to see how vulgar or outrageous or offensive you can be. Vargas followed by underscoring that the supervisors have already declared racism as a public health crisis and will not tolerate it in the meetings. I absolutely believe that people have a right to come and speak. And as an elected official, I can take your names. Call me fat, call me whatever you want. But I will not tolerate racism. Particularly, I will not tolerate anti-blackness. The comments today are hate speech, not free speech, and that needs to stop. Christina Kim, KPBS News.